checking out the Framework desktop. I'm in batch five, finally got mine as of September 5th of 2025. Clean. This is my video with live commentary while I'm in assembling it for the first time. Right, let's boot so, this baby. Welcome to the channel. My name is Jay Scar, and we're going to be going through this live. Let's go. Um, when it comes to the insides of this, you can actually see a spot for PCI Gen 4x4 is what it says in the bottom there. Gen 4x4 here at the bottom. The cabling in here is amazingly small, which is great. Okay, now. Cool. Alright, let's get into this thing. If you know, you know. That's the power button, I see. This says audio, and there's where our SSD looks like. This has not got any protection on it or something that we ought to pull off. It's not exactly sticky. I do like that this screw is captured on the actual piece, which is kind of nice. That's it, man. There's the fan header. Okay, so, APU fan versus this fan. So, it shows the arrow pointing down, the label's facing down. and then insert the fan duct. So, that's what this guy is. Insert the fan duct. Look at that. Clean routing. Let's see the cable there. So supposedly off the back side is where the secondary storage is. It's supposed to lift up. There we go. So 
that's our second storage device. We're not going to put anything in for it right now, but at least we know where it's at and how to get to it. And it's fairly easy, which is great. That's holding on that part. Cool. So this top. Yep, that's all clean now on the bottom. Cool. I'm guessing this part needs to go in too. It's just magnetic though, so it's probably pretty easy. Front and rear. I like how they just put little indicators for which way things need to go. Clean. All right, let's boot this baby. Get some stuff installed in here. Let me know what you want to see this thing running, what tests you want me to go through and work on this, and leave a comment and like below. Thanks for watching, and make sure to tune in for future content.